Hello everybody and welcome to Tem Team May Edition Cup and today we're having a, quite a lot of interesting matches today but do not also forgetting that we having a fantastic caster here today with me not only myself Jam Tam we're having as well the amazing Jab how are you doing today Jab? Thank you for that fantastic introduction Janton uh, welcome everyone to uh, to the first match of this uh, fine Sunday for the makeup um, brought to you by Tem Team and more specifically Tylo. And uh, yeah, as you said, we have uh, quite a few important matches coming up. Uh, with the first one being Trotter versus Gold, and this this matchup is going to be vital for Group C. Group C hasn't been set yet. The only one who guaranteed goes on to top eight is Shizunix. And it's a very close battle between Trot and Gold at the moment. So Trot versus Gold will be very important. If Trot wins this, he'll take the first seed. If Trot ties, then he'll be tied with Shizunix. And according to what I saw, Shizunix is ahead in the head-to-head. -head. So a tie between Trot and Gold would mean that Trot would be second place uh, and qualifies for the top eight. But if Gold wins this, then Gold still has a chance to qualify as well, depending on his matchup with Axel Autos. So it's going to be a, a really important one for both Trot and Gold here. Oh yeah, and also that if now actually Gold winning this one, Gold having absolutely everything in his hands to take in the next match as well, since Gold having the next one right after this one. So if now Gold can really having this com comfortable play that he have been, the, the little have seen through these weeks, that he can probably be taking it, but he needs to play out of his mind into this one. Yeah, like I said, for Gold to uh, to qualify, he needs to win versus Trot, and then has to either tie or win versus Axolotus, because he'd be ahead in the head-to-head -head with Trot. Um, so it's a little bit harder for Gold to do, but it's definitely not undoable, and everything is up to the upcoming matches. And well, well as you can see from the screen right now, it's it's going to be Gold for Trot first, but in an hour and a half or so, we'll have the Gold versus Axolotus matchup. Uh, so we'll get to know the, the result of this group pretty much right away after that match and maybe even after this match. So it, it will be a very exciting, uh, very exciting one. Yes, and I'm just taking a quick look here and see if the, our competitors are ready. I see one of them is ready. He, I can give a little bit of sneaky help that uh, he were apparently in, in the lair, so he needed to finish up that before he could... Uh, Oh, <laughs> starting the match. Well, Lars are pretty good as well, right? So, uh... I mean, what are you well, gonna do so... while you're waiting? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, let's just, um... We can quickly look at the other, uh, the other groups, because all the other groups have pretty much been decided yet. We still have some matches from the other groups, uh, being Luke Liu versus Zuckli and Luke Liu versus Setsuna later today. Um, but Luke Leo already has qualified as the first place in Group A, so um, they're they're gonna be exciting matches nonetheless. They will they won't matter for the standings itself, but it will be good practice for Setsuna and Zuckley, who has both been well performing okay in this tournament. Um, Group B has been completely finished already, and Ali uh, with a dominant performance, nineteen points in first place and uh, Rishi managing to uh, to qualify yesterday after the match with SM Vid. Group D is pretty set in stone as well. Uh, Subaki reaching first place with 18 points and Neko Blocky um, qualifying second uh, with 13 points. Uh, the only thing that does matter for uh, for Luke here uh, in the end of the day is the amount of points that, that he manages to grab because that will be important for seeding in the top 8, if I, if I recall correctly. So if Luke manages to win both matches, he'll be in a comfortable first place in seeding and I believe that will matter for top 8. Yeah, so if Luke, well, like you said, can getting these last 6 points, he will actually be top of all of the points so it's gonna be pretty matter of seeding if so you don't get it that like that opponent you don't want to face to but i think most of these uh these guys or gales have been facing each other pretty much so they have probably an idea of how their player style is but you're still having like ah oh, it's that tamer i have so hard time yeah. finding this one I mean, and even though they there was a swap between, or people could swap up between the weeks, right? Um, people 
do tend to go back to their their own play style uh, a lot of the times and like every player has their own way of playing the game their own vision on the game and it definitely uh, comes back in the way they they build their teams the way they approach the matches and um well sometimes a, a small wrench get thrown into that uh, as we saw with the upset that SM Fit had uh, tying twice um so yeah, Rishi yesterday was sweating a little bit probably, but won in a pretty dominant fashion afterwards. But yeah, it is uh, this format specifically lends itself very well to showing what people like to bring because it's just continuous matches spread across the week. So I'm I'm very curious if people are gonna swap it up a little bit for top eight or if they uh, if they continue to go with what's comfortable to them. Yeah, and as I can see also now that one of the competitors realizing, oh, is it match today? Uh, let me just log in for a moment. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, we, we have to wait a little bit longer for our competitor to uh, to come online. Their team should be set as well uh, already, so I think it won't take too long. So uh, what are you expecting for this match? Who's going to take this? Oh, um, I think I'm going to be this wild card and saying that I'm... Oh, I have a feeling that Gold probably gonna take in either first or second game, but I mean, Trod has his love for uh, this Tortonite. I mean, he's known for his Tortonite plays and such, but I'm thinking that Gold might take in this entire game here. Yeah, so um, Trod brought the, the, the interesting team with Madrid, with Adoro, with the Tortonite, uh, as you said. Um, Gold, on the other hand, brought a, a terrifying team yesterday, and I am very, very excited to see that team in action again. Uh, if, for the people that don't know, uh, Gold brought a obi wan O team with Kinu, Saku, and, um, well, there was some, some spicy tech on that. The obi wan O was carrying the slingshot and buffed itself into obscenity to a point where it was basically unkillable. And I think it's going to be rather important to for uh, Gold to figure out how to set up again. Um, yesterday, the obi wan was setting up with Tesla Prison versus an Amphitheer. But um, yeah, there are several other things. Gold also brings the Tordenite, brings the Kinu, the Saku, the Grumper, Fovi. So there's a lot of very bulky Temtem that like the, the buffs. And just go from there. And obi wan brings, or obi wan brings a lot of protection for that in being able to replicate bushes and burrows. Yeah, and they, they are seems like they are ready and they are already in their match, so let's jump in. All right. So as we jump in and both uh, both tamers chose their team, we do in, indeed see those teams. We discussed Trotter, br bring some interesting stuff with Mudrid, the Adoro that I mentioned, also has a Nesla, which was some, some spicy tech on that team as well, and Trot doesn't even hesitate and ban out the Saku. That Saku seems awful to deal with for Trot's team. There's so many Temtem weak to it. It is pretty much just the Tort that can somewhat... Oh no, Tort doesn't even like it either. It's just the uh, the Banshee that doesn't just die to it. The rest of the team is all weak to that either that wind or... Well, nature, if, if Gold is running that, but it's mostly the wind damage that uh, the Trot is weak to. Yeah, like if you if you actually draw it, let this socket just pass by, and either having uh, Obi or Kino next to it, like okay, this this socket won't die like right away. He's gonna be a hell. Yeah, but that this does mean that that Obi Wan always open. It does mean that the Kino is open, and that a lot of other things are open. Gold bans out a uh, Trot's Adoro, and Adoro is a, a very important part. And it's part synergy for that Crystal Deluge from a. Uh, from Madrid, so no no cheeky sleeps for three turns there. Uh, unless he picks up that Barnshee, of course, and Trot decides to f first pick the Fovey. Yeah, and, and Gold over here is looking his own Wolfie here. I mean, having a Wolfie battle is something that I'm always liking to face. If Let's just see that whose Wolfie is faster. Can I exhaust your before mine and so on? But we see also Kino and Caliph has been quickly picked up here after each other. So yeah, the, the Kinu Fovey makes sense. Kinu is very important for Gold's team. It's just, well, everyone knows what Kinu does at this point. So, well, no need to explain that. The Barnshee gets banned out for similar reasons, probably. Deny the Crystal Deluge uh, synergy there. 
and Calibus gets picked up on, on gold side as well. Calibus being able to resist a lot of uh, moves from trot side. Uh, gold picks up the Momo. Momo, uh, as we saw, was a more of a fat Momo. Uh, that supports with uh, Whale Power Drain. Still dish out big damage. And I hope we get to see that obi one again. Um, I don't know if we'll pick it, but I, I hope so. Uh, it was really fun to watch yesterday. It looked really tilting. But fun not nonetheless. Pretty sure that Obi is a, a fun champ to play around with, but like you say, the fating against an Obi and it, oh, really and there, no it does get picked up. So now we get to see buffing with Kinu, we get to see the Obi 1 0. Um, and there's a lot of small synergies as well. For example, the bush from Obi 1 0 gives itself the 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 plus two special defense if it's next to Fofi. So there's, there's a lot of small things in that. Uh, but yeah, we open up with Fovi Kinu versus Fovi uh, uh, Fovi Calibus, and that Calibus is looking pretty solid onto this board. Yeah, this Calibus just like it, it can basically sit there for at, at least this time. Even the Wolfie itself can do some solid damage towards Calibus, but Calibus in general just it can take a, any hit for a turn and deal some damage back. Yeah, and I'm expecting a goal to at least swap, and that's what happens. Kino goes out, so you save that for later, get more Kino buffs, and, um, well, the fat Momo gets swapped in, so Momo will have, have all its uh, hold moves up. Gold's Fovi gets uh, gets trapped by the Plague, and a return Plague comes down as well. Uh, you su you see how Fovi's, or um, Fovi on the gold side took way less damage because of that Protector buff, of course. Toxic Ink also going there, and Fovi being pretty comfortable. Yeah, and, and also like uh, gold have to be. I mean, gold having this one one plus one here, so he feels a little bit uh, comfortable. But he still need to be aware that wolf is trapped here, uh, can't go anywhere. So he, he, even if it another um, play, uh, an another play. Uh, I mean, that's that's vortex and a, another um, thing here coming out. It, there could be potentially be a dead wolf here, but I do not think this yeah. will be like this turn. Yeah, it. I mean it. It's what you expect at that point. I think the double in, uh, the Kinu buff definitely helped here. If it survives another buff, it will have its boost up, so it can get a, feel a little bit more comfortable. Gold decides to full on raid boss that Fovi, giving it another buff, so it will more comfortably eat the next uh, next double in as well. Play comes out, and I expect the Toxic Ink also to come out here. And this is really cheeky because this plague just pushed off the Toxic. Oh, and this is great. The life will sap as well. Aquastone comes out. No toxic ink. Fovi takes a little bit more damage and no toxic procs anymore because the plague pushed them off. And then Fovi life will sap. So now six turns of regen here for this Fovi. Plus two, plus two. And it's, it's looking... that That's a fat rat. Indeed, that's a really fat rat here. Now, Gold can actually... I think Gold, Gold could do an overexertion of here, but he, he doesn't. And... Whatever he's having in his mind, he just want to come forward with it. Yeah, so this is rather unfortunate. That pet plague pushes off the life sap again. Um, the Kino does manage to revitalize it, so it goes up a little bit again. But it being popped off is kind of annoying, right? Bush, uh, oh, Axis, oh, it, I think, because of the... Yeah, Axis oh, massively because of the, the exhaust from plague. And that's a lot of Axis this turn. Uh, both Fovis and the Calibus uh, were Axis. So wow. it's just the Kinu that can act here. <laughs> and like, Gold actually took the uh, top of my head that he wanted to do, but I, forgetting that Throder's Wolfie were actually faster, so no matter what the um, uh, uh, prior free move you decided to do, like, you will always go second. So that was, yeah, that was and that's punishment. because the Gold is running more of a fat Wolfie, right? So it's... Uh, it doesn't outspeed that plague. Uh, Gold swaps out the Volvi here into into that fat Momo again. Troll also decides to swap Leonardo. The the Tort Knight comes in. The the well, at this point it's basically Trot, right? The Tort Tort and Trot, like you can't think of them without each other. Kinu goes for a pretty free hypnosis, seeing as it's the only one that was able to act, and uh, that was a pretty good target to hit because Sukama coming out likes the pressure right away 
and well, now it's asleep for yet another turn, so it won't be able to act. And Momo has all its hold moves up, so it will be able to throw down these barks, undermines, uh, willpower drains. So this this fat Momo is completely online. Yeah, and for for those who are lacking, just clicking on one button and destroying everything. I mean, you you have the right time in front of me, but if if now you said that this is a bulky one, so I'm not expecting to to be having too much special attack invested here, but Trotter's like, he, I think it's though he's in a comfortable position, even though that Yukama is slept. but I mean, he was hoping that they were not coming out any hyp hypnosis, I would, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the hypnosis was, was to be expected. I expect the Kinu to dip as well here, because, well, the Kinu is being threatened out by a Crystal Spike Storm, or uh, Trot swaps in the Nestle on the Yukama slot, uh, doesn't want to take any unnecessary damage. And gold swaps out to Kinu as expected back into the Calibus. And that is pretty okay for uh for Trot. Momo will take the Crystal Spikes actually, and this is what I meant, right? It's uh, it's 30%. Undermine comes out, and that tort takes a massive amount of damage. 60% from that Momo. Ooh, this is really rough at, at this position. Like and also lo losing one special attack here on the Tortonite. If he's already in a rough position if he wants to still be able to use in his Tortonite. Yeah, uh, Trot does most of the time run the confined Tort with Cage and everything, so the special attack dropping is okay-ish. Like, uh, it, obviously it's bad, right? But it's better than a Tort who's completely dependent on spamming Crystal spike uh, Spikes. Um, so at least it will be able to do a little bit, but even as a tank, it just lost 60% of its HP, so that is kind of rough. The Nesla is okay into Calibus, but uh, Mucus will reduce the, de the Thunderstrike damage a little bit, and I don't think Nesla would like to eat a Toxic Ink here. Uh, the Momo just has free agency here. It can, uh, it can go for that Bark, but it can also go for Willpower Drain, and Willpower Drain is really strong, like reducing stamina is such a powerful tool and i well that's just what gold wants to do with this momo i think it's either the bark or the willpower drain but yeah just reducing either of those things would be fantastic i think though maybe gold want to try to save the bark until there's an opportunity to bark in the calibus we all know the calibus is actually a, another town that is really thick as well so pretty hard to do a lot of damage yeah, Gold doesn't want to take the Thunderstrike and expects the Thunderstrike to come and Fovey likes to eat that a lot of the times. So the Willpower Drain comes out onto the onto the Tord and there's the Thunderstrike, but it hits the Momo instead, expecting the Fovey to come out. Momo goes down to 40% here. Tord's Garden takes it down to 1.5%. Uh, I think there was a little bit of a... a um, uh, a visual bug that didn't show the stamina dropping from Willpower Drain, but it did drop. And look at what happened. The Fovey got doomed here. Uh, but it, Tort was throw or Trot was throwing that out onto the Calibus. Fovey can get rid of Doom by clicking Bush. We know that it's running Bush. And Trot uh, can't really do a lot of damage right now because either um, T Strike or uh, C Spike can do enough damage to taking out this Wolfie. Even if that is. Um... Nasla's running with uh, Aqualic Wolverine, it won't be still enough damage to take out this Wolfie, so this Wolfie... Yeah, this Phobia is plus two, plus two currently. It has Lifel Sap, it has Bush. And keep in mind, that's not the only way to push off the, the Doom here. Because if uh, Phobia Lifel Saps, and obi one o comes in and burrows, then the Doom also gets pushed off. If obi one o bushes, then it gets also it also gets pushed off. So there are several ways, ways of pushing that Doom off from that Fovey, so I think Gold is feeling pretty comfortable with having that honest Fovey. Do you see that Throt here doing a double swapping here, letting Wolf and Calvis come in here? Oh god, and the Undermine hits the Fovey, and Fovey goes down to 8.5%, that is painful, to that say is... the least. Lifel Step comes out, so we st we will start see uh, seeing the heal on this Fovey, and look at that, plus 2, plus 2. It is wearing the Sweatband, and this is where we see the divergence of Fovies. Um because well it can be ran bulky it can be ran very aggressively uh, Trot is running the classic handcuffs so you just get a lot of value from it um, whereas gold 
is running a sweatband. So if you run that sweatband uh, fovi, you just want to sit there forever, just spamming your plagues, your dust vortexes. Uh, if you run set the lifeful sap, the bushes, like you can stay a lot longer and you just can cl keep clicking moves. On top of that, um, I feel like Trot wants to push off that lifeful sap, right? With a, with a plague, with a handcuffs plague. But that would also mean that you push off the doom yourself. The play goes into the Momo, however, and Momo will take a little bit of damage, not too much, after that special attack drop uh, due to the Undermine. Bar comes out, and there it is. It is onto that Calibus, so you did call that out before, saving the Bark for the Calibus. Actually, it OXs, and Fulvi pushes off the Doom finally with the bush. So we're having a raid of Wolfie that had no like hesitation to die yet here, and this triangle trying to strangle the Wolfie there, but... Didn't re really land that, but that means that Calibus is not awaxed because of that. So, what uh, what Gold can do now is you can just uh, well swap out Fofi again, and it will heal back up the full because of the Lifeful Sap, and that's exactly what's going to happen. And next time Fofi comes out, it's still plus two plus two, but it's full health again. Calibus comes out; it likes to eat pretty much any move here. See that plague after the Undermine barely does any damage, seventeen percent. Uh, the trap is a little bit annoying, Toxic Ink comes out, and Calibus loves to eat Toxic Inks. So that was a double in from two rather strong Temtem, 72%. And on top of that, that Momo managed to survive another turn. So now you have to waste a move onto that Momo to kill the last 10%, and it might just get off another Willpower Drain or Bark. Yeah, but the question is now, if now Troll is deciding to do using Plague, he had just killed the Momo, he ha that's going to be a sacrifice for, for his own uh, Wolfie here, but maybe he needs to do that just to make sure that he has some kind of chance into this game? Yeah, exactly. It's, re it's really rough because the Fovey is also the one that can push off the, the regen from the Fovey later, but he does decide to go with the OX and, well... It basically sacrifices Fulvi to take out that Momo. Toxic Ink comes out. It barely does any damage to uh, to the four times resisting Tordenite. And so that is, that is okay. Um, I think Trot is in a pretty rough position here. It's going to be really hard to deal with that buffed up Fulvi. Keep in mind, it's not even... It's not even its final form yet. There's still a Kinu, so there's still another plus one plus one buff waiting in the back. There's still an ob one o that can keep giving it uh well burrows more bushes this fovey seems awful to deal with yeah this wolf have already started to becoming a raid boss and if it's getting one more buff it's it's gonna be a hell to walk out of that to even be able to getting down it's such a strong wolfy and there we finally see it the two happy little orbs flying around bouncing off each other and well, it, it's not the best board for Obi Wan O because, well, it doesn't appreciate the it doesn't appreciate um, crystal moves at all. Uh, and even though Tord has a um, well, a, a pl minus one special attack, I wasn't expecting it to stay in. But Fovey comes back in, and Fovey is more than happy to eat those moves. Water cannon comes out. It will toxic the Fovey, so that's painful. That's a lot of damage, but it will be able to push that off with uh, with a bush again later. But look at how comfortable Fovey is just eating that, and in the snapback, the Ukama just takes 70% of its health due to a Toxic Ink. Yeah, that is really rough here. However, uh, Gold needs to be aware now, if he decides... Uh, okay, so if I remember correctly that his bush shouldn't be online right now, but if he's deciding to bush here, he will only knock off his, uh, his region, not the Toxic, because the regions already have been applied. Um, what gets applied first with Bush? Because that's relevant. If uh, if it's regen first, then uh, yes, you uh, you only push off your regen. But if it's the um, evading first, then it will push off the regen and then apply the regen again. But I believe it's regen first and then evade. So if that's the case, then yes, the gold will. Uh, it's going that's to have fine. Like it, it had. The regen and the toxic kind of cancel each other out. It's at 52%. You can even swap in your Kinu here if you want to and give it another buff. Um, you're in a pretty fine position as gold, I think, even with that toxic. 
Fovey gets swapped out again. I mean, it will regen back up a little bit. And Kinu comes out, and it's time to start buffing the Calibus. And that's another target that loves buffs. Calibus gets really fat. Yeah, we are, we will see a couple of raid bosses here now. And we see that Throder decided to taking his, um, his Leonardo out and letting Nessus coming out there on the board. Let's see what this Calibus is going to do. Yeah, it is the Toxic Ink, uh, and Trot make, made a reasonable play here, uh, sending in Nesla is fine, uh, Nesla does Thunderstrike the Calibus, but now it's plus one, uh, plus one, and it has that Mucus, uh, I think, or it should have the Mucus, so, well, it takes less damage from Electric then, and it becomes a whole mess to deal with, even with a Nesla, because Nesla doesn't really appreciate taking a Toxic Ink, even though it has that Chamomile and is pretty much immune to the, the Toxic uh, condition or status condition here. Gold swaps it out. I expect the Fovey to come back in because it just eats Thunderstrike for days, right? Yeah, and we do see that. Oh, that and there's that Revitalize. Oh, Bringing it, it back up the same a, with the fight. Yeah, it's such a painful turn cycle. Thunderstrike goes on to, into the Kinu, actually, and Kinu takes a decent chunk, so maybe the Kinu will die to a Toxic Ink here. Uh, and it dies because of the tick, and that's going to be something great for Trotter, but he's still having one mini raid boss and a slightly higher raid boss there to have to take down. Yeah, so here's that ob one o again, and it is... Uh, Trotter's in a decent position here, I think, but there's still a Calibus, there's still the Fovey, and how is Trot going to deal with either of those? Well, Granted, though, Gold's Calibus isn't putting out too much pressure either, especially against uh, uh, Calibus or um, or the Tordenai. But Fovey just happily deals with them, right? Especially with Trot's Calibus being minus one, minus one due to the Bark earlier. Yeah, def definitely. And I think Obi haven't really been in for a single turn, it's only been in and then swaps out again. But we see the Nessus using the Aqualic Wall on here, hitting directly on the Obi, and it's taking down to 30%. Oh, but Obi's, Obi Wan was sent in for the. Oh god, that plague did so much damage after that spark. That sparks went first, though, so Obi Wan O dies. So it's just Calibus and Fovey now, and Trot still has four Temtem left. But he has to deal with a plus one, plus one Calibus. And a sweat bent Fulvi that's plus two plus two. Yeah, and Trotter doesn't have his own Wolfie to be able to counter out the other Wolfie, so it's gonna be a climbing hill here right now for Trotter. And also, that Wolf is having one plus special attack as well, so it can start doing some serious damage here on the board. So Trotter needs to act fast if he wanted to be able to win this. Wait, Genton, who's killing that Calibus? Who's gonna kill this Calibus? That is a very good question. Oh, Nesla outspeeds and the Thunderstrike does hit, but Calibus eats it. He eats the Thunderstrike and it dies to OX and the Plague or Lifeful Sap comes out. It's not even the Plague, so Gold just wanted to eat that, that Thunderstrike here. Humiliating Slap takes down the Calibus a notch further, minus two defense now. And Strangle comes out on the Fovey. That's pretty big. Strangle is big. But that means there's it's still a 1v1 and that Tord isn't gonna do too much. I don't think it has the um I don't think it has its uh its Tord Knight's Garden back up. Oh wait, I was wrong. It does have the Tord Knight's Garden up and who will who who will be he be targeting here? He, he's targeting it after the Wolfie. Wolfie. So oh wait, will he be able to to knock that off because he still has that regen, right? He still have. Will he regen. be able to knock that off with with the bush? That is the question, indeed. But otherwise, like if that were landed on the Calibus, I mean, sure, that would then be an easy way to get rid of a Calibus. But now that that Calibus has overexerted, now it's a battle between the Tor Tortonite and the Wolf. Well, the Calibus is less of a problem here because it's very low on stamina and it will die eventually. Dust Vortex comes out onto Leonardo and Leonardo will die here. But it might be a lot, uh, lot closer than expected. Will 
I'm not sure if Bush pushes this Doom off here because of the regen on Fovey already. Will it replace it? Because yeah. if it doesn't, then that might be big, but this Ukama is dead to a plague. And then Fovey will get one more shot off onto the Calibus. So even with the Doom there, it might be it might be enough. Yeah. And yeah, as I got confirmed from Chad, Bush doesn't push it off here because he needs to remo remove the regen first. Uh, yeah. And we did see Bush earlier coming out from this Fovey. So we do actually know that he's running it. Yeah, but even though if, if now Goldman able to push out this Doom somehow, like I'm going back to what you said before, this Calibus, like how are you supposed to kill it? Like, and of course you, you can't use any moves specific on Wolfie because you're going to be pushing away the regen and Gold really want something, uh, another condition, so he can push that particular turn. But if you try to kill the Calibus, like the Trollers Calibus is the only one that can do at least some damage to the Calibus while the Jukama here needs to pray to God that it can actually land a blizzard if it runs with it. So alternatively, what you can do is if you think, hey, I can't win without Volvi, you just toxic gank your own Volvi here to push off the regen and then bush next turn. You can just plague Ukama here and push off the regen with a toxic gank. Uh, you just... But I, I don't think it matters. But you can do that. You could realistically do that. Push off the uh, push off the regen and then push next turn. Yeah, you're you're not wrong. So there there is ways to, to playing around with the doom here. Well, it's it's gonna be the all in into Calibus, But look at that aquatic whirlwind. No damage. Oh, he does go for the bush actually. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. And that that is that is. That's pretty bad. Strangle comes out. Oh, that might be really bad. If actually Trotter decided to do a Strangle on the Calibus that turn instead, that would have been a better position for Trotter. Yeah, but this Fovey will get down one Plague here, and it will most likely die eventually to another move from Calibus, but yeah, this is what we were talking about, and as confirmed by chat, it didn't push it off. Lifeful Sap comes here, so it might be the Toxic Ink onto Calibus itself. Is it the Sap Ink? Yeah, it is. Okay, so the Doom gets pushed off, and all is safe. This is what I was expecting to happen last turn, right? But instead, he chose to... Uh, um... Oh, actually, no, this was better, because if he got a... If he did what I said last turn, he would have get, uh, gotten strangled and he couldn't bush there. So this was the the ultimate play of getting rid of the Doom without um, without risking anything. And Gold takes the first game. What a close match. What a... That was closer than it should have been. That was so close. Holy. But yeah, that lost... That lost play. Uh, the bush to push off the... Um, to push off the regen was just a read on strangle yeah and, and we can't we, we can't talk much because they are already in so let's get dive back oh, they're into already the into the next game so what is the what is the important thing here Fovey terror to deal with but that saku is awful to deal with as well so is it going to be the saku ban again it, it it's straight up the adoro ban coming from gold again and we see the same bans so I feel like this Kino was a pretty safe pick here, right? This is what brought gold a lot of tempo uh, last game, but he d decides to pick up the Fovey. Is it going to be the same opener again? As it looks like, it feels like it. But that that was really beneficial for gold, that opener. Uh, even though the Kino doesn't appreciate it, uh, getting your buffs onto your fat rats uh, is, was really good, and that's what won him the game in the end. Uh, yeah, and it's the same opener again. So what got banned last time? It was the Tordenite on Gold's side, I believe, and the Barnshee for on Trot's side. Yeah, I remember the Barnshee were banned on the Trot side. Uh, I do believe it was the, the Tordenite on Gold as well. Yeah, so it this was the Barnshee because it, it denies the Crystal Deluge, right, from uh, from Madrid. So that, that would be fine. Um, I think Gold was in the most beneficial position, so I do not 
know if I like the same pick and ban for Trot, but if Trot thinks he can win it from that position, then, I mean, power to him, right? He should definitely do that. Yeah, definitely. And it's I mean, gonna be the Barnshee again. He has exactly and the same bans from the previous game. It's it's the same. This is gonna be the, it, it's gonna be the OB one O again, right? So oh uh, god, it feels like Trollip wants to have the rematch of the previous game with this exactly same temps and see. I if he feels like he can defeat that combo of temps, like I mean, prop to him if he actually do it this time. This time, it's it's exactly the same. It's the same pig band and. So Obi Wan O isn't the most valuable Temtem in this matchup because the entirety of Trot's team just does well into it, uh, except the two Mentals that were banned out. But the rest of the team does well into it. But yeah, if you get a single Sparks off or like a Burrow or a Bush, you're, you're probably happy. Um, but we're we have the same problem. How is Trot ever, ever gonna deal with this Volvi? It's just a Doom. The only thing that deals with it is the Doom. And we start out game two. Gold has to win this if he wants to stay in the race for top eight. And if he does win this, then everything is out of Trot's hands. And it will depend on Gold if Trot manages to uh, to place or not. Yeah, so Trot really, really need to play out of his mind in, in this particular game to making sure that he can somehow secure but of course it's going to be can gold play well in the next match oh God. will it be the same turn one again there is the momo uh i i believe that happened last time as well and gold actually swaps out the Fovi this time into the calibus so he's expecting the toxic ink and the plague to go there again uh and will it be that no it's actually going into the other slot so momo gets hit with the play gets hit with the handcuffs and is trapped for three turns here I mean, you're fine with that. Toxic Ink also goes there, so... Well, there it is. Momo goes down to around 43-44% after the Toxic proc. And it's a Calibus Momo now. Yeah, I mean... I, I think this is a... Right now, a better position for Trot because if you can get rid of this uh, Momo already, like... You know you won't lose any special attacks drops because of that Undermine, and we know how strong that move actually is. Yeah, keep in mind though, last game, um, Gold's Fulvi got really chunked at turn 1. So that made it a little bit harder to play around. Uh, and now it's full health. And the Obi or the Kinu comes out, so Momo will actually receive the buffs this time. So making the Fat Dog even fatter than it already is. And I expect that Undermine to come out. Undermine will go out onto the Nesla, and Nesla goes down to 39%. That's a massive 60% from that Undermine. Oh, and this is a good one. The strangle onto Momo is really good. It is still trapped. It is strangled. It can only rest now. So that is it. That's a, a really good play from Trot. Just tra or strangling the trap target always solid. Yeah, definitely. Um, Momo sh should collapse in here as well because it, it can't escape since it have one uh, one trap turn left. Oh, Trot swaps out the, the Calibus, so no Toxic Ink into that slot. It's gonna be the Leonardo, the Tordenai, that comes out. And Sparks comes down onto that Leonardo, so this Crystal Spikes will start hurting a little bit more. Momo rests uh, because of that. Uh... Oh, actually, uh, he couldn't even Toxic Ink because of the Strangle last turn. But um, yeah, the Momo rests 26%. It might still be able to get a move off in... Um in the in the uh bark or uh the drain and it's yeah. fat so it might be able to survive a move i doubt it would survive a plus one special attack crystal spikes now but who knows i uh, i'm not familiar with that calc obi wan is surviving for a turn so it's still 100 percent hp but it doesn't want to eat a thunder strike or crystal spike so that's pretty rough yeah, you, you don't want to eat an, anything on this board right now. And believing that um, even though you decide to like burrow here, you, we know that it's try one move, so it, it would just go last. So I think for uh, gold in this position would be letting Calibus probably be taking a hit since, I mean, by just its stats itself, it's already bulky. It can't take a crystal spike without any problem. But the question is, can it, how can it take a plus one special attack? 
what if uh, what if you just send in your rat? Your that rat eats true. both Crystal Spice and Thunderstrike with ease. It's plus one, plus one, and it can heal back up with Life or Sap and Bush if it needs to. That is really true, my dear friend. As we see the OP switching out there, and as, as you were talking about, the wolf is coming in here, predicting that C-Spikes is going to be landing there. As we see also Momo's leaving here and letting... Oh, you yeah, know, there it is. There it is, the, the second buff on Tufovi. It's getting tankier and tankier again. This was the point where it basically become, became unkillable last game. Aquatic Whirlwind comes out onto the Fovi and look at that 13% Crystal Spikes. Onto the Kinu, so spreading out the moves and Kinu dies, so no more Revitalizers, no more Protectors here. But I feel like Gold got off what he wanted. He got plus 2, plus 2 on Fovi. Yeah, Wolf is already a, is the raid boss that he has been looking for. I mean, if it was able to get him one more, I mean, that would have been unstoppable. But getting at least two buffs out of that, that's absolutely great. So, another thing for Gold uh, that's good with saving the HP on Fovi is that he doesn't have to life or sap right away now. So if he gets doomed, he can push it off with Bush. So he's actually... Ironically enough, he's a little bit safer without the regen on right now because he has that option of pushing off Doom with ease. Yes, and um, even though the troll is deciding to like either Dooming Wolf or Dooming Calibus, like we're still having Obi in the back line that has both ready within the next turn if it swaps in this turn or the next turn. So. Oh, you're right. So this is another thing that's really good for gold. Uh, the Obi 1-0 didn't get its hold off last game so it couldn't do too much but it actually managed to get a turn off its hold now so it almost has bush up and that's big uh the the nestle swaps out we saw that it didn't do too much damage to calibus last time and it doesn't want to eat a toxic ink so it's well swapping your own calibus here uh trot swaps out the tordonite as well into his own fovey which is that handcuffs fovey dust vortex coming out which was an expected one uh, only 17% Toxic Ink, so not a lot happened this turn. It's not a lot of damage. Uh, Trot just put himself into a little bit of a better position with the Mirror Matchup. But this is probably not a Mirror Matchup you want to take, because Gold's Fovey is so much bulkier at this point. Yeah, and Gold decided to, like, I'm, I'm going to keep this Wolfie out of here and letting Obi oh, come in here. This is so good because this is the board that uh, Obi-1-0 will likely be able to survive. So now it's now it's bushes up, right? Toxic Ink. Yeah, it goes down to 61%. Strangle onto the Fovey. Fovey won't be able to do anything the next turn. And now it can start bushing or burrowing or even Tesla prisoning. <laughs> The Fulvi, if he wants to. We saw that Trot ran Aqua Stone, so that will kill, kill the Obi-Wan. Um, so I'm not expecting that. But yeah, um, Gold swaps in uh, the Fulvi here. So yeah, it's just a lot of bulk going around here. There's a lot of switches here. Like, almost every time I've been swapped up, except from that Obi-Town. And there is that bush, and there is that... Oh, it's the bush plus synergy, so it's a plus two special attack, and there or special defense, and there's that fantastic source replicator, so Fovey heals back up due to the small bit of regen it got. Uh, and now this Obi-Wan suddenly has plus two special defense, which might be able... Uh, which now it does allow to survive a move, potentially? Yes, it, it should be a... And, the, the, and on Charger's board, like there's, I mean, the Calibus is the only, the only one that actually can do physical, while the rest of them can only do special. So at this board right now, Gold looks pretty solid with having plus two on the. On yeah, its and time. even, uh, you can even just swap in your Calibus, right? Take a little bit more damage. Your Fovey just appreciates this board a lot. It can plague the Ukama. It can dust vortex the. Um... Oh, it's the cage, but it can dust vortex the uh, the tort knight. It's the cage, uh, wanting to save or wanting to uh, probably catch that Obi Wan O of guard. But Obi Wan O goes for the uh, special attack, but for the sparks, water cannon comes out onto the Obi Wan O. Will it take it out? It doesn't take it out. Dust vortex kills the or deals massive damage to the trap Leonardo, and this Obi Wan O just manages to survive yet another turn. 
Oh, we have third. Now Overtown doesn't have bush ready. It's only have a burrow. If if now Gold's running burrow, it is ready, but it's not fast enough to outspeed end of the temps that is on the board right now. It is the Aquatic Whirlwind, and that's an Aquatic Whirlwind probably to kill of a 6.2% OB-1-0, so that is a lot of value you'd gotten off with that Sparks. So I wouldn't be too sad as gold for that. Play comes out onto the Yukama, and look at that damage. It almost takes the Yukama out, and Tord Knight's Garden finally comes out, but as I said before, this is a way better position for the Fovey because it's full HP, so it can actually just happily push it off with, uh, with the bush here. Oh yes, but uh, Trotter here t just tried to like, I, I need to get a little bit HP here, so trying to just, using the, the garden here to receiving, how much, I don't remember if it's 6 or 7% receiving out of that, but just try to be able to saving your Tortonite for another turn. Yeah, I, I believe that also depends on the, um, on the amount of, uh, or it's actually 10% heal. And oh. it's 20% uh, heal with synergy. Oh, yeah. That's so right. th that's a good amount of uh, that, that, that's a good amount of health. Or it's a decent chunk of health. Calibus comes in and this Calibus isn't threatened by this board at all. Uh, you can just... Well, you can pretty freely click your Toxic Ink on the Yukama slot now. Uh, it will most likely be the Calibus swap in, right? But um, you could also just click Humiliating Slap in that slot if you want to. Uh, Trot swaps out the Leonardo uh, into Squall, which is that Calibus. So no Calibus on the Ukama slot. So I see just sacking the Ukama. There's the bush pushing off the Doom again. And like I mentioned several times before, this is a fantastic position for the Fovey to be in. It's actually the Blizzard that comes out from the Ukama. There's the Toxic Ink. Ukama goes down. So that's another big damage threat that, well, goes out. Yeah, but that turn, if we're still a good turn for Trot, being able to doing. Roughly 41% on Calibus and putting it on in a roughly bad position. It's, it's make it more possible for Trotter to come back into this match. Even though that Wolf is, is like previous game already like bulk up and having that one plus special attack. Yeah, the thing I'm looking at though is um, that Momo might be actually uh, might be able to do some stuff in the future now because of uh, because of the plus one plus one. Even though it's pretty low. Uh, Fovey gets bombarded with several uh, statuses. Toxic Ink comes down on, on Thumb, on, on uh, Trotter's Fovey. Takes a little bit more because it's not as bulky, it's not as chunky. And Trot's Fovey down to 33%. And, well, both Calibus is just sitting there taking a, a little bit uh, a little bit more damage. Yeah, and uh, how... I feel like Trotter still need Wolfie. To be able to keep pressuring towards the other Wolfie, but having both Calibus and a Mom on the other slot, just annihilating your Wolfie, it's not, not a good position. And with the comp you have right now out here, it can't take out the Calibus either. So it's a, it's a rough position if Charters want to save his Wolfie. Yeah, it is. Um... It's looking like a repeat of last game. I think Charters in a little bit of a better position than last game. But that Fofi is, man, everyone that, that has watched Calm for a while and has actually heard me cast before knows my my intense hate for, for the Plague Rat here. Um, and this is exactly why. This is exactly why I find it so annoying to deal with. What do you mean? It's, it, it's such a cute little rat. Ah, yes, it's such a cute little rat scratching its little ears, spreading the plague, like, across the entire enemy team. God, it's so annoying. Wait, Nestle it... comes out. Play comes down onto the Nestle, and Nestle just comes, well, goes down. I feel like that had to be a sack, right? That Nestle wasn't gonna do too much. Maybe to the Calibus, and, well, there's the, stra the double strangle, actually. So that's, that's really good for Trot here, because yeah. now... Both of Gold's Temtem won't be able to act next turn. Oh, that is actually pretty huge, actually, for in, in my ass at least. That unfortunately for uh, Gold, that he yeah made it the right decision to uh, to strangle Jordan's Calibus, but Jordan already like that. Ah, uh, we need I need to stop this wolf somehow. So strangling the wolf as well. Like all, uh, this, so there's only gonna be one Tem attacking on this board. Yeah, and. 
what the difficult thing here is now the the way you want to kill that fovey is either through toxic procs or through doom and it's really hard to kill a a fovey with that because of bush uh, crystal spikes comes out on the calibus slot which will kill the momo here that just got swapped in so that is it's unfortunate but that's the plus one special attack right the rest rests because of the strangles calibus comes back in and uh well, the only thing that Fovey will have to fear is the is the Doom. But it's in a reasonable position here to be able to push it off with Doom again soon. It can Dust Vortex the Leonardo if it wants to. Uh, that will likely be a swap in for on the Calibus. But even then, when it comes back, it eventually will die to the Dust Vortex, right? Yeah, I mean, a, a plus attack uh, Wolfie here would pretty much just annihilating this... Um... Tornadonite here. Even if Tornadonite is available to getting off one more C-Spike, it has to... It needs to do a lot of damage on the Wolfie. But we see Wolfie actually deciding to do the bush here, making sure it's surviving for another turn. Yeah, ah. there we go. Crystal Spikes coming out on Calibus, and that does uh, so much damage. Fovey evades because of the... because of that bush. And it's it's a slow but steady game. That Calibus on gold side is, is rather low at this point. So that, that won't be able to do too much. But if anyone can stall all of this out, it would be that, that fat full V, right? Plus two, plus two, plus one special attack. It, it's going to be so hard to deal with. Once once the uh, Leonardo is gone, you can start Lifel Sapping as well. Even though Trot's Fovey can still push all the regen off with Plague. I feel like you win it eventually, especially against Calibus, because Gold's Fovey has no problems with stamina. Because of that sweatband, play comes out onto Leonardo, it stays in Toxic Ink onto the Calibus. Calibus will go down to 5.6%. The question here is, can this Fovey eventually 1v3? Um, we don't know. The Leonardo had to rest because of the strangle from before, and... We didn't even advance the board that much. Calibus is still very low. The other Calibus is still still very healthy. And Leonardo just happily ate that plague. Yeah, I think Gold needs to make a decision here. Like, okay, so the previous round he tried to play, he was expecting the Wolfies to come out there, which didn't really happen. And so the Tortonite really took it really well. So if now another play comes out there, um, Tortonite will, of course, taking it without any problem. And... We will, we will see the Calibus getting destroyed this turn, and hopefully that if so the Trotter's Calibus having... Uh, I, I think it's have enough stamina to do one more strangle, but the strangle needs to happen, but you can't lose um, Leonardo. Oh, and keep in mind, people, I just realized that the overlay wasn't updated, but Gold won the first match, and Gold has to win this match if he wants to... Um... Wants to be able to qualify for top eight, it would still depend on an expat match. But before we can look at that, Gold will have to win this one. If Trot if Trot manages to tie this, however, then there is no way for Gold anymore to qualify, and that would mean that Trot would um, would be second seed of Group C. So yeah, but the contestants taking a, a long time to think about this turn. It's it's gonna be a rough one if if you you want to save the dust vortex for that Leonardo. Um, it was a good read from Trot last man or last turn, where he stayed in against that plague. It didn't matter too much. But yeah, it that Leonardo might be the difference maker. I I think that Calibus has to die soon because uh, it will have to one v three here. I uh, I think it's it's a really Tough position for both of them to make a decision here. We see the C spike landing directly on the Calibus here, and the Calibus is gone. Now it's a question. We will see a strangle to stop this wolf. Oh, it is the Lifel Sap, and wait. This is bad. This is bad for gold. This is really bad. Because we saw from last game what this means. This Lifel Sap being there means that Tortnite's Garden is free and this Fovey will die in four turns. And I don't think Fovey will be able to kill everything in four turns. Or it's three turns, isn't it? Because of the... because No, it's four turns. Yeah. Uh, never mind. It is four turns. There is no synergy here. Um, yeah, I feel like this Fovey is going to die now because of that Lifel Sap. And already using the bush here? Oh, that, that's... Yeah, and... 
Trot is just playing for that for that doom. There's the strangle again, and that has to be game, right? Yeah, this that is rifle tap was so painful. Just save that to push off the doom, and I feel like that was a little bit of a misplay, but you had to do it. It had to be the one v three, and it didn't matter. Trot takes the second game, and that means it's a tie between gold and trot. What, and that what? also means that Trot has qualified for top eight as well as as the second seed because Gold only has one match left versus Axolotus, and if he wins that, he'll be up to thirteen points, and Trot will be at fifteen points. So it's unfortunate for Gold; he tried hard, but Trot manages to take it home, and that means that our entire top eight has been decided here. With coming from Group A, Luke Leo and J Dragon. From Group B, Ali and Rishi. Group C, Shize and Trot. And Group D, Subaki and Nekoblaki. So we're going to be having a fantastic top couple by just hearing that. Like, all of these fantastic competitors. Like, this is going to be a great finals. Well, st we still have some, uh, some interesting matches and possibly important matches uh, upcoming. In a bit, we'll have Gold versus Axolotus. Uh, later on today, we have Luke Leo versus Zuckley and Luke Leo versus Setsuna. And especially the Luke Leo matches will matter because of seeding, if I recall correctly. Uh, because, well, Luke just might be able to reach the highest amount of points. Yeah, so if he takes all of these points, uh, he's currently having 15 points. So taking 6 points here means that he's going to have 21, which will be more due to um, Ali. Oh, we just got a... Um... Okay, so it might not actually matter, the points. I'm not sure. Uh, Lucas already first in the tiebreaker. Uh, but yeah, the, the top eight has been decided with this. And uh, yeah, that was, that, was gr that was a great series. The, those were two great games. Uh, they, they were a little bit longer uh, because of the, the heavy... Well, more stallish nature of the the Fovey, but yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, really fantastic matches. And the next match is going to be happening in roughly uh, thirty four minutes, if I am um, counting it correctly. Uh, yes, it will happen in roughly thirty four minutes. So I think we will be going on a break here and then come back to you, right? Yeah, we will go on the slicer break here. Um, I think that we, we're going to do so that we're going to be turning off the stream here so we can relax a little bit and then we'll turn it on right 10 minutes before we um, heading back into our next match. All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in again. Thanks, uh, Tem Team and Tylo for uh, for hosting the Tem Team Cup May. And um, yeah, thanks for the contestants for these great matches. Uh I will be back with some of the casts. I'm not sure which ones yet, but uh, you'll you'll see me back here. Yes, we will be back in, like I said, in, in about uh, 20 to 25 minutes. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. See ya.